Good morning, everyone. Your morning weather briefing for this May 24th it finds that there is one significant change in the forecast this morning and that I have moderated temperatures for a bigger portion of the uh, Corn Belt for the 11 to 15 day time frame. Otherwise, no major differences versus what I was presenting yesterday. Temperature and rainfall outlooks this morning finds that you can uh, easily see that uh, bigger moderation in temperatures that I am now showing in the 11 to 15 day time frame. Certainly not a cool weather pattern with still above normal temperatures for the southwest Corn Belt and areas to the west and south of there, but it is a more normal temperature forecast for the 11 to 15 day period elsewhere. QPF discussion this morning, much like uh, what we had yesterday morning, I do think that this map is modestly too wet with regards to the Corn Belt. I think that overall its amounts shown are appropriate. It is just the coverage that I I think is being over illustrated by this map. It is a situation where there are likely to be fairly large portions of the Corn Belt that actually see nothing in the way of rainfall for this particular five day time frame. Otherwise big rains in the southeastern portions of the nation as a tropical uh, weather system influences that area by around Sunday Monday. Uh, most of the better rain shown in the northern plains would not occur until very late in this period. For the day six to seven time frame much like uh, the last couple of days all of the uh, decent and significant rains in this period in the far northwestern Corn Belt in the northern plains as well as in the mid-south and southeast with an area in between covering the central Corn Belt through the southern plains largely getting little or nothing in the way of rainfall in that time frame. High temperatures yesterday, a note that we did start to see some 90 plus degree readings working their way into the southwestern Corn Belt, also some 90 plus degree readings into the southern plains, obviously a sign of things to come for both areas. 18 hour rainfall totals through 1 o'clock this morning, a mix of rainfall from that occurred yesterday morning and that which is occurring this morning. Uh, most notable I think is the rains that have occurred over the last 24 hours in the southern plains, uh, certainly uh, much more significant rains in uh, portions of south central Kansas into uh, northwestern section of Oklahoma and into northern portions of the Texas Panhandle. Uh, not a real big area, but within that area, a lot of the places uh, saw one to two plus inch rainfall amounts, certainly better rains than were expected for that part of the world. Early morning radar shows just some very widely scattered activity occurring this morning across portions of the Plain States. As far as the forecast is concerned, in the near term, uh, for at least the next week or so, for uh, the vast majority of the Corn Belt, still looking at a situation where there's going to be a rainfall threat on most any day in that period, but it is all going to be quite widely scattered in nature. Looking at surface features as of 1 o'clock in the morning tomorrow morning, you can see that all of the models are in some agreement that we are looking at some fairly decent rains occurring at that time across sections of the northwestern Corn Belt. Certainly not the biggest rainfall event that we've ever seen, but wouldn't be surprised surprising to all the work to walk in tomorrow morning with some rains falling in western and northwestern portions of the Corn Belt. By the time we get to 7 o'clock in the morning on Sunday, it's still a situation where we are looking at a tropical weather system at that time to potentially be uh, moving into northern portions of the Gulf of Mexico and impacting uh, uh, southeastern and maybe mid-south portions of the nation at that time. Again, a situation where if indeed we do see a named storm at that time, it would likely be just a weak tropical storm in nature. Longer term, uh, looking at 500 millibars as of 7 o'clock in the morning for around next Tuesday. That's something that we've been looking at the last uh, couple of days. Uh, upper level low pressure systems located in northwestern portions of the nation as well as the upper level low associated with our tropical system in the Gulf of Mexico. Again, this morning you can see that the models have uh, varying locations of the uh, two low pressure systems in question. They all have uh, the low pressure systems in question of varying intensity as well. But in general, they all all would say that the lows are going to be in a, such a position that you're going to have to favor any rainfall into the northern plains and the northwestern Corn Belt as well as in the mid-south and into the southeast with a very distinct area of above normal heights indicating ridging in between those two areas it would be the area underneath all of that ridging at above normal heights that would be the most disfavored area for rainfall over at least the next week. So there is my general rainfall outlook uh, over the next week at least uh, in the northern plains. A little bit of rainfall there for today. Otherwise that upper level low that I just mentioned in northwestern portions of the nation uh, giving uh, the northern plains eventually some nice amounts over the next week. Some one plus inch totals. Uh, the best 
part of that rainfall starting to occur in the northern plains on Monday for the mid-south and southeast. Additional big rains there. Of course, some heavy rainfall amounts going to be seen in southeastern portions of the nation as the uh, tropical system starts to influence that area for especially the first portion of next week. But in between, uh, ridging of high pressure aloft going to be keeping uh, rainfall below normal across a big portion of the central corn belt and into the southern plains. Most of that area getting less than a half inch of rainfall. Some places getting nothing at all over the next week. For the second week of the two-week forecast, lots of uh, confusion this morning, lots of uh, details we worked out with regards to the specific rainfall forecast. Models are really not uh, showing any consistency on a run-to-run -run basis. They're not showing any agreement with each other either, and that's even with the operational models with regards to their ensembles. What I'm showing here is 500 millibars at the very end of the 10-day forecast from the European operational model on the left and the European ensemble on the right. Note that the European operational model at that time would have a very significant uh, low pressure system aloft in western portion of the northern plains at that time, something that would imply some good rains at that time in the western and northwestern portion of the Corn Belt and potentially uh, moving some better rains uh, into bigger portions of the Corn Belt for the early portion of the 11 to 15 day time frame. But if you notice from the European Ensemble, largely nothing in the way of that same system being indicated by the European Ensemble. So with that being the case on the Ensemble, it really does bring into question whether we can indeed see that uh, more vigorous system indicated by the European Operational Model actually verify. So just kind of giving you an example here of exactly what we're facing with uh, in regards to the rainfall forecast for the second week of the two week time frame. I don't think that that period at all is going to be completely dry in the middle of the country, but I'm certainly not convinced either that we're going to be seeing any sort of a widespread big rainfall event in the central Corn Belt during that second week of the two-week time frame either. With regards to temperatures, certainly a lot of warmth in the forecast for the next week to uh, as much as 10 days above and much above normal temperatures is going to be dominating a lot of that period. Uh, one particular warm period for today uh, through Memorial Day, a high temperature forecast from the European model that I'm showing here for Sunday and Monday. Note the extensive area of 90 plus degree high temperatures from the European model in the uh, southern portion of the northern plains into the western corn belt and a good portion of the southern plains for both the Sunday Monday time frame. So uh, yeah we're going to be seeing some 90 degree temperatures coming up and the Sunday Monday time frame is when that 90 plus degree heat looks to be especially widespread in especially the central and western corn belt. The above normal temperatures are going to continue right through the end of the 10 day forecast but we'll probably see the 90 degree heat suppressed a little bit further south and southwest in that time frame but at the same time the heat where it is located is probably going to become more intense in nature. Notice this high temperature forecast from the European model for next Thursday indicating 100 to 105 plus degree heat in the southern plains at that time. Uh, I think that that may be a little bit uh, overextended in its uh, uh, forecast magnitude but in general though I don't think it thinks there's too much doubt at all. We are going to be looking at some extreme heat, certainly 100 plus, maybe some localized 105 plus degree heat in the southern plains for especially about the Thursday, Friday, maybe Saturday time frame of next week. So make no mistake, uh, plenty of warmth, uh, lots of much of abominable temperatures in the middle of the uh, country, the southern plains, uh, Plain states in particular, Western Corn Belt as well, uh, for the next 10 days. But as I said in the opening, are looking at some moderating temperatures in the 11 to 15 day time frame. In my forecast yesterday, I talked about some moderation occurring in the 11 to 15 day period for the Northern Plain states, but I am expanding that uh, moderation in temperatures to a bigger portion of the Northern Plains into the Corn Belt and Far Eastern portion as well. Uh, looking at 500 millibars uh, as of 7 p.m., this should be on June uh, 7th, not June 1st as it's labeled there across the top, you can see that there is general model, model agreement of a trough of low pressure uh, located in the eastern U.S. at that time. Any ridging of high pressure being push, pushed further uh, westward into a western portions of the nation. So some general model agreement today that we are looking at some moderation in the 11 to 15 day time frame. Certainly not a cool weather pattern. Still looking at above normal temperatures for the 11 to 15 day period in the southwestern Corn Belt and into the Plain States, but to the north and east of there, some better moderation indicates 
to today on temperatures for the 11 to 15 day time frame. Internationally, no changes in Brazil. Uh, below normal rainfall going to be widespread in Safrina corn areas for the next two weeks. Uh, largely nothing in the way of rainfall for northern growing areas as their dry season really starts to take hold. The rainfall that I am showing there on that map on the right uh, for southern portions of the corn growing area of Brazil, that rain would probably be still at least eight to nine days away. In Europe and the former Soviet Union, a nice rainfall pattern coming up for Europe with normal to mostly above normal rainfall, especially as you get further westward in Europe, that rainfall in Germany, if it verified, would be very welcome there. Still looking at strictly below normal rainfall though for the next two weeks for winter grain areas of the former Soviet Union. It's still a cool and wet pattern for the spring wheat areas of the former Soviet Union. As expected, we are seeing uh, low temperatures last night uh, reaching uh, the freezing mark a little bit below that in some sections of the winter grain of the spring grain areas of Russia and Kazakhstan. The forecast it has, a, as I said, is still very cool and quite wet for the former Soviet Union winter grain, uh, spring grain areas. Notice the rainfall that is going to be seen for the next 10 days across that area. Snapshot of temperatures on May 30 shows extreme cold conditions across a good portion of central Russia and into Kazakhstan for the middle of next week. Again, we saw a few spots reaching uh, sub-freezing levels in that area this morning. I would be surprised if there are not several more mornings next week when there are some sub-freezing low temperatures in the spring grain areas of the former Soviet Union. In China, uh, still a situation where we need to keep an eye and Man on Manchuria as they are looking at normal rainfall at best. Most areas below normal rainfall during the next two weeks. The bulk of the rainfall that is shown in this map is going to be occurring during the next five days. Fairly decent totals are going to be seen in Manchuria. Some half to one and a half inch rainfall amounts before they revert back to a below normal rainfall regime for the six to ten and eleven to fifteen day time frames. Still a very warm forecast in the near term for Canada. Temperatures for today running ten to twenty degrees plus above normal across most of the Canadian prairies. Not a lot of rainfall in the near term forecast either. What rain is going to be seen mainly for today and into a portion of tomorrow across portions of Saskatchewan and into Alberta. There is still some model agreement on a wetter weather pattern longer term, especially for the six to 10 day period for the Canadian prairies. Still not convinced though that they will be seeing outright big totals even at that time frame. Finishing up for this morning, the forecast is still one of the wetter ones that we have seen in quite some time for Australia. Note the near to above normal rainfall amounts over the next 15 days in western growing areas. A good portion of that rainfall already occurring for today. Eastern areas not faring nearly as well with near to below normal rainfall there. But even in the eastern growing areas, some modest rains are going to be seen in the 6 to 10 day period. Uh, again, that rainfall getting started there for around Tuesday of next week. That's what I have for this morning. Everyone have themselves a great day.